You've got more clouds out there compared to yesterday, but beautiful up at Deer Valley, Bald Mountain. Look how green it is out there. We're in the upper 70s in Salt Lake City, so uh, warmer than yesterday at this time, and things are going to heat up pretty quickly today. Uh, we're going to get back into the 90s later on this afternoon. Upper 70s in Park City. You've got 77 on the board in Tooele, low 70s in Evanston. We'll zip you down through central southern Utah, mid 80s in St. George. With some of those showers, they're developing down south right now. I'll zip you in. So we're seeing clouds getting pulled in from the south, rain showers developing. So you've got that in some areas like lower Washington County, Richfield, Capitol Reef National Park, Bryce Canyon right now. And for most of our um, state parks, our national parks, we're going to see uh, the chance for some flooding this afternoon because of these storms. And it's because we're pulling in that moisture from the south. So high pressure is over Texas. And then we've got a storm that's parked off the coast of central California. And so we are getting that southerly flow. And so this kind of marks the first surge of the season and this is going to continue throughout the rest of this week. So today central southern Utah showers and thunderstorms developing a uh, periods of brief heavy rainfall. We can get some lightning and some of those uh, gusty erratic winds and so that could lead to some flooding because of those brief heavy downpours. But then Thursday night into Friday that starts pushing into northern Utah and we're going to get some of those storms uh, across the Wasatch Front. We'll show you in our super seven day forecast. As for today though Salt Lake you're staying dry and it's going to be toasty in the low 70s, not scorching hot, but wait till you see the seven day low 80s in Park City, 94 in St. George, St. George, you're going to notice some patchy smoke tomorrow, even warmer in the upper 90s. And then the triple digits are back this upcoming weekend and, and you'll stay right there. We'll put that on pause into early next week in northern Utah. I want to talk about a couple different things. Moderate air quality going into the next couple days. So don't be surprised if you start to notice a little bit of haze. Not terrible, but you can see that yellow category for Wednesday, Thursday, even Friday. But let's talk about the timing of that rain. Tomorrow we're back to the low 90s and in the late afternoon, early evening, we're going to get the chance for some showers and thunderstorms in the mountains and also across the Wasatch Front. Not white spread kind of spotty, but that's going to continue Friday morning into Friday afternoon bringing again the chance in the afternoon for some of those thunderstorms that could bring some of those, you know, heavy downpours, gusty winds, even the chance for some lightning. Friday will be a bit cooler in the upper 80s this week, and though we start drying out high pressure builds mid 90s. And then yes, we're going to get that scorching heat back early next week. We're back to the triple digits on Tuesday. Lots of sunshine and overnight lows are going to stay pretty warm, Max.